Stop using the discharge or storage charge function on your charger to put your LiPos into storage voltage after flying, because there is a better way to do it. Managing your batteries properly will extend their life, prevent them from going boom, and extend your flight time. Most pilots, especially beginner pilots, fall into the trap where after coming back from flying, you plug your LiPos into the charger and either discharge to storage voltage or use the storage function. While this is technically right, it's also not the best way to manage your batteries. There's also an expensive mistake that a lot of pilots make by doing this. That mistake is buying too many batteries, which only worsens as you buy more FPV drones. Well, you may have a range of drones in your fleet, whether it's a Nano, three and a half inch, Cinewhoop, four inch freestyle, five inch freestyle, or a racing drone. They all use different batteries. The extensive mistake here is buying 10 to 20 batteries for each kind of drone. And while discharging your batteries to storage charge wrong, and buying too many batteries at different issues, they're closely related and solved in the same way. When you're either finished flying, you'll have packs that are fully charged. While the obvious solution is to send it, you often get caught by the curse of the last pack or aimlessly flying around a field to discharge your batteries to new storage voltage. The other thing that does my head in is also when I'm out flying is having to think about battery management. How many packs do I have left? Will I get them in? or will I run out of packs and need to go home early? I just wanna focus on my flying, not have to worry about batteries. But also, what's wrong with using the discharge or storage charge function on your charger? When you're plugged into mains and are discharging a fully charged battery, your charger is just burning the electricity stored. And this can take ages to get them down to storage voltage. The solution is actually to buy a filled pack. I did this several months ago and it changed my life. I bought two 14,000 milliamp hour 6S batteries, which I use as my main field pack. Most of the time I only use one unless I'm traveling or I know I'm gonna need a lot of packs. For a five inch freestyle drone, which uses a 6S 1300 milliamp hour battery, one of these gives me an extra 10 packs of flying. For a three and a half inch drone, which uses four S850s, you're gonna get around 16 additional packs. My charger has the ability to run different profiles based upon whether a battery is powering the charger or whether it's coming from mains. And when I'm using the battery profile and select storage voltage, I now have the option to recycle. What the recycle function does is use the power stored in my fully charged batteries to recycle that power into my field pack. It makes it really easy to manage batteries by the end of the day, I simply go through and use the storage function with recycle to then discharge my batteries to storage voltage. Field packs are also more resilient to being kept at full voltage for longer periods of time because you're not draining them at high discharge rates. But isn't buying a field pack expensive? Get FPV have a similar pack to mine for about $220. If we go to the example where for a 6S 1300 milliamp hour pack, you're gonna get 10 extra packs with this battery. And this would work out to be about $21.80 per battery. The cheapest 6S 1300 milliamp hour battery on GetFPV is $29. And this means you're saving seven bucks per battery, depending on which batteries you buy, as savings can even be up to $800 per pack. This works out to be a total of 70 to $180 in savings. For a three and a half inch drone, which uses four S850s, you're gonna get around 16 extra packs, which works out to be $14 per battery and a saving of at least eight bucks per battery, giving you a total saving of $128. These savings are multiplied by the number of batteries you have because a field pack is versatile. Even if you just have a three and a half inch and a five inch, you'd be buying 26 extra batteries. So going down the path of a field pack would save you 250 to $300. But how many batteries do you actually need? Well, you can get away with a minimum of three packs for each kind of battery that you need if you field charge at 2C. But what happens when one of your LiPos dies and you need to replace it? Having the minimum amount of batteries and replacing an individual pack can be quite expensive because you have the purchase price of the battery plus shipping, and this eats into the overall savings of buying a field pack. Well, there are two solutions to this. I typically buy around six batteries for each kind of drone I have. This allows me to have enough batteries pre-charged when I go into the field, but it also means that if one does die, I still have enough in circulation. Having a few extra packs in circulation reduces the number of cycles you put your batteries through which makes it easier to maintain their health. The other thing is, you're probably going to be ordering stuff from FPV stores anyway, whether it's for your next build, or you need parts to fix your existing quad. So just add a replacement battery to your next order. The other thing about LiPo batteries is they can be highly explosive. 
So watch this video here to find out how to stop them going boom and for general lipo safety tips. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.